Welcome on this tutorial. Wish all you are well. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how to start with Node MCU for our project work. I will start with what is Node MCU, what is ESP8266 and how it can be used as a station as well as access point. I shall discuss pin diagram of Node MCU and functions of different pins of that. I will show how to connect Node MCU with my device that is laptop or PC. For using Node MCU, we need to install driver software for USB to TTL converter. So I will show how to download and install driver software for CP2102. I shall discuss how to configure Arduino IDE. And at the end, I will run LED blinking Arduino sketch to show that Node MCU is working perfectly. So entering into my discussion, Please subscribe, it will grow my interest to upload more and more important tutorials. At start, I am mentioning few points regarding Node MCU. Node MCU is Node Microcontroller Unit, which is an open source Lua based firmware and development board specially targeted for IoT based applications. It includes firmware that runs on the ESP8266's Wi Fi enabled system on chip microcontroller. The ESP integrates 80211BGN HT40 Wi Fi transceiver. So it can not only connect to Wi Fi network and interact with the internet, but it can also set up a network of its own, allowing other devices to connect directly to it. So as Node MCU have ESP8266, so Node MCU can be used as a router as well as it can be used as station. Different versions of Node MCUs are available in the market. Starting from ESP01 to ESP12, also OEMAS D1 Mini. Main features are common for all versions. There are little difference of few features as per different versions of Node MCU. This is a pin diagram on Node MCU. I will not enter in depth of pin functionality because in this tutorial, my target is how to start with Node MCU. So, regarding this pin diagram or regarding the functions of different pins in Node MCU, I shall make another tutorial. Node MCU has 17 GPIO pins, general purpose input output from here to here and also from here to here. It is having 10 bit ADC, this is the ADC input, ADC 00. Analog signals from different sensors can be connected at this point. The GPIO pins can be used as general purpose input output, as a digital input output, as well as few pins have options for PWM output which can be used for controlling different analog devices. Node MCU have different communication facilities. It is having SPI interfacing facilities. These are the different terminals for SPI interface. This is also different terminals for SPI interface. It has the facility of I2C. The main heart of this Node MCU is a microcontroller which is ESP8266. This one is that one. Normally the ESP8266 does not have hardware I2C pins, but it can be implemented in software. So we can use any GPIO as I2C. Usually GPIO4 and GPIO5, these two pins are used as I2C connector. GPIO4 is used for data and GPIO5 is used for clock signal. Here this is in pin, we can provide power supply for whole board. Normally the power supply is given through this micro USB connector, but if we want to provide power supply, we can use this B in pin. These are the four ground pin, this one, this one, this one and this one. Three numbers of 3.3 volt output we can get. This one, this one and this one. This can be used for any external purpose. Here this is the reset pin. When the reset pin is pulled low, means it is grounded, ESP8266 resets. The same function can be done by using this reset button also. The GPIO 0, when the GPIO 0 is pulled low, means it is grounded, it sets the ESP8266 into bootloader mode. The same feature can be done by pressing this onboard flash or boot button. GPIO 16, this can be used to wake up ESP8266 from deep sleep. To wake up the ESP8266 from deep sleep, GPIO 16 should be connected with the reset pin. The Node MCU has serial communication facility. This is TXRX, TXRX. This pins can be used for serial communication. The Node MCU board has inbuilt 
USB to UART bridge controller. Here this is the chip for USB to UART bridge controller. The chip is CP2102 from Silicon Labs. Another chip might be used which is CH341. But CP2102 is most useful. When this chip is used in Node MCU then that can be directly sensed by Windows 10. And for the case of CH341 some extra software or extra operation is needed to communicate. In Node MCU an onboard LED is there. This is that LED and this LED is usually connected with GPIO pin number 2. It is to be noted that the LED works with inverted logic means we need to send high signal to turn it off and a low signal to turn it on. On the board is the main hardware which is the microcontroller ESP8266. This is CP2102 USB to TTL converter and this is AMS1117 which is the voltage regulator which provides 3.3 volt output. It is very important to note that the ESP8266 operates on 3.3 volt. So if we want to use this ESP8266 separately then we must provide 3.3 volt and higher than that 3.3 volt might damage this ESP8266. Again whatever the output signals we are getting from here all are 3.3 volt. What are the main things I mentioned? The node MC you have the microcontroller which is ESP8266. Now with the clock speed here it is 80 megahertz. There must have USB to TTL converter. Those are CP2102 or CH340. There is a micro USB connector. This micro USB connector can be used to communicate with the computer as well as from this micro USB connector. Power supply is given to the board. Operating voltage of this node MCU is 3.3 volt as ESP8266 is operated on 3.3 volt. Input voltage might be given 4.5 to 10 volt and this voltage will be converted into 3.3 volt by using that voltage regulator. Node MCU have flash memory or SRAM. It has digital input output as well as analog input and PWM output. And ADC also to convert analog signal from sensors into digital signal. And normally the range of analog signal is 0 to 3.3 volt. The node MCU have UART SP and I2C communication facility has inbuilt Wi-Fi options. I'll make another tutorial with the explanation of different pins and functions of those. Now I am explaining how to start with node MCU. See this is the node MCU which I am going to use. Here this is the main hardware which is ESP8266. This is USB TTL converter CP2102. This is voltage regulator and this is the onboard LED and this is micro USB connector. The bottom side we can see different pin identifications. Now I am connecting node MCU with my computer using this micro USB connector. Checking whether node MCU has been connected with my computer or not. Opening device manager. Inside this device manager. See here this is other device. Yes CP2102 USB to UART base controller. But here on question mark this indicates that driver software is needed. So installing driver right click on it update driver search automatically for drivers it is telling that windows was unable to install your cp2102 usb to urt brace controller so what can i do i am closing it and i am searching driver software for cp2102 in google in google i am searching CP210 Universal Driver Entering into Silicon Lab site Downloads Say here CP210 Universal Windows Driver Clicking it Start download Yes Download completed See this zip file downloaded Extracting it Here is Driver software for CP210 Entering into it. This is the installer for 64 bit. 
<laughs> now before installing this i am checking whether any driver related to this cp210 in my device is present or not entering into control panel programs see here is there any software any driver software related to cp210 no no driver software is there now installing this clicking this cp210x installer for 64 bit machine next i accept this agreement next finish now see opening device manager ports see here silicon labs cp210 usb to urt is present now checking in control panel yes this is the driver windows driver package silicon laboratories the driver package has been installed so what is the next step next step is i need to install arduino ide if you have already arduino ide installed in your computer then it's okay otherwise arduino ide need to be installed so how arduino ide can be installed i am showing here in my browser in google i am typing arduino this first on arduino home which is arduino.cc software there are the different versions of arduino ide arduino ide 1.8.16 this for windows for mac os x this linux i have already downloaded and installed this 1.8.15 version so to install this one we need to click here see this arduino 1.8.15 we will click this windows installer it will start to download i have already downloaded so so i'm closing this portion while you will download the ide you will get exe file here is that arduino 1.8.15 for windows for installation we need to click this exe file and we need to follow instructions step by step i have already installed this arduino id so i am cancelling this one while arduino id installation will be completed one shortcut key we will get on the desktop to work with this arduino id i am clicking this shortcut key this is the starting page of arduino ide so what is the next step the next step is configuration of Arduino IDE. We need to configure Arduino IDE in order to comply the code depending on the board we are using. We need to add ESP board with compiler as we are using Node MCU. We need to select the tool Node MCU for that what I need to do. I need to enter into these tools. Next, I need to select board. So entering into this board here. I am getting no board named as ESP or Node MCU. So we need a plugin for Arduino IDE. It can be downloaded from GitHub manually. But the another way it is easier to just add one URL in the Arduino IDE to update board manager with custom URL. For that what I need, I will enter file next preference i need to add on url here additional boards manager urls i have that url and i am pasting it here i have given this url in description part also okay i am running arduino id again entering into tool board then entering into this board manager here might a few entries in addition to the standard Arduino board i need to filter out by searching esp8266 esp8266 
8266 yes i got now clicking install to install it the board definitions and tools for the esp8266 include a whole new set of gcc g++ and other reasonably large compiled binaries so it may take a few minutes to download and install i need to wait and the downloading is going on making the video fast esp8266 installation completed here it is indicated installed closing this now selecting node mcu board tools board esp8266 board selecting node mcu 1.0 what is the next part i will check whether node mcu is working properly or not for that i am running led blinking program which is already written here as an example for that entering file example basics blink so this is the program to blinking led operation this is the function void setup the inbuilt led pin is set as output pin the first digital write in loop function is for making the led high next delay next digital write to make the led off next delay and this is inside the loop function so this is a continuous loop so while we will run this program the led on node mcu will make on or off means it will glow and it will be off with an interval of 1 second to run this code i have to select com port entering into tools port i am selecting com4 i may check it from device manager also in which port my node mcu is connected selecting com4 now i will upload the code into node mcu it will automatically start to run and the led on node mcu will start to blink uploading the code clicking upload button see here compiling sketch uploading done uploading means uploading completed and the led on node mcu started to blink and it is blinking with an interval of 1 second so this is the indication that my node mcu is working properly now i can change my code as per my requirement and i can use different gpio pins and other peripherals with node mcu after finishing this tutorial you are surely able to start with node mcu i will upload more and more tutorials on node mcu using different sensors and actuators please subscribe put your comments and queries in comment section also you can suggest me on which topic you want to get the tutorial